Hello, here we are with an unboxing and hands-on with what is at the time of recording the latest addition to the CAT range of rugged smartphones. This is the CAT S30 and this is a little bit more of a budget or entry-level tough phone if you like. It's not quite so premium in terms of the features. So this is the official retail packaging, fairly nondescript box just on the end here we've got a little bit about the s30's features we've got the mil spec dust and waterproofing as well as uh, the temperature resistant design of this handset bold cat logo printed on it but if we open up the box we are first presented with the cat s30 which we'll come back to in a few moments in terms of what we actually get included in the box it's a pretty standard affair we've got a usb to micro usb cable for connecting to a computer for data transfer or for charging it connects to this which is the mains adapter now because this is a sample unit it comes with a two pin european mains adapter but if you're buying it from clove you will get a three pin uk mains adapter but you've got the usb port on the end there for connecting the provided usb cable we then have a set of fairly basic in-ear headphones, 3.5 millimeter jack, inline microphone. We've got some earbuds on there, no additional earbuds included. We then have a screen protector included as well, so to protect the screen that little bit more. Of course, the uh, screen and everything is scratch resistant, but this helps if the device is exposed to harsh environments. We then have the limited warranty statement in a variety of languages, but the good thing to note here with the cat phone is it has a 24 month warranty um, on the actual device and 12 months in other countries because uh, the 24 months applies to European Union. So if you get it from Clove, you'll get 24 months and then you've got six months on the accessories as well. And then lastly, we have a fairly basic manual in a variety of languages just to get you up, running and going. So let's take a look at the phone. So here we have it. Quite a smart looking handset on first handling. On the front here, we've got a factory installed screen protector. So S30 IP68, which means it can be immersed in fresh water. Mil spec rating, so it can be dropped from a height of 1.8 meters onto concrete and it will survive. So it's dust and water resistant. We've got dual nano SIM card slots. This is a dual SIM phone and we've got a micro SD card slot as well. Let's just actually remove this screen protector. Like so. And then here we have the 4.5 inch touchscreen on the front. Below that is a speaker, and then we've got three physical buttons. So they give a tactile feedback, home, back, and running apps keys. Really nice. This is good if you're using this when you've got gloves on. If we look at the bottom of the device, we've got the micro USB port under a little cover here. So you need a bit of a fingernail to remove that, and you can get into the cover there for actually charging the phone up. And then we've kind of got rugged design because it's got rubber all the way around it, nice, soft, uh, grip material you can see the contours down the side here and then we've got uh, the sort of screws to give it that kind of rugged uh, look but it's nice and grippy we've then got a function button here that can be programmed from the settings that's highlighted in yellow we've got the power key just above that in silver it's actually plastic in construction not metal got the power indicator on it on the top We've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack under a cover again to help with the IP rating. So you can see that there. Got nice sort of fairly smooth curves to the actual uh, device itself on the corners. Then on the right side, we've got the volume up and down buttons, individual buttons, again, finished in silver. And then we've got two covers over the micro SD card slot, which is there. So you can expand the memory in here. It's got eight gigabytes of internal storage, but then you can put a micro SD card in there. And then in here, there's a little tray you can pull out and that's where you have the nano SIM card. So dual SIM, so you can have a work SIM, a personal SIM and run both at the same time. And then if we flip over to the back, 
We've got the cat logo on here. You can see the contoured back cover. It's sort of a soft touch material. We've got the rear facing five megapixel camera with LED flash. There's a microphone there as well. And I should mention there is a front facing camera as well. That's two megapixel up near the earpiece here along with the sensors. So with the device powered on, you can see that it's an Android uh, device, which is standard for cat phones. And then there are a few little customizations on here, primarily stock Android, but Cat have added a couple of little features. So there's Clean Master to keep the device running nice and easy. We've got a file manager, um, apps there, and uh, some cat phones support on here. Now we haven't set this up fully. We've just literally uh, switched it on. So you've got things like being able to add widgets and wallpapers to the device there, fairly sort of uh, functional affair. You've got the camera. You can record um, from the front and rear, be it in uh, stills or video. So the camera on the back is five megapixels and can record video at 720p resolution, not full HD, unfortunately. Built into here is a 3000 milliamp hour battery so it should keep you going for at least a day if not two for lighter users do remember it's going to take a little bit more power because it's a dual sim device there's a quad core processor and uh, there's a gigabyte of ram so you can see where perhaps you could argue there are some shortcomings in terms of the specification the processor 1.1 gigahertz quad core and one gig of ram it's not the fastest but the price of this is just 215 pounds including vat which is pretty good when you consider it can take knocks and drops and it looks quite smart as well this could actually be your main phone or if you need something to um, take out on your sort of more adventurous sort of holidays or sports you do this could be one that you kind of keep in your bag and because you've got that programmable action key there that can uh, do a few things such as quick launching the, the camera or a torch or things like that so that's just a quick look at the cat s30 in this unboxing we will be back with a full review very soon but until next time thanks for watching